Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome. Thanks so much for tuning in to my channel, The Fool's Journey Tarot. You are watching a general love reading for the sign of Scorpio for the last portion of October. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. I saw some little dust particle or something shoot through the screen. So, of course, whenever I see that stuff, I immediately think, ooh, there's a spirit around me. <laughs> It could have been. I'm gonna have to watch it back now. I'm really curious to see. Okay, Scorpio, so um, let's go ahead and get started. I want to remind my viewers this is a general reading. That means it can't apply to any kind of relationship or situation or circumstance that you're dealing with. Don't forget to be flexible with the energy. You can interchange the roles within the reading. You can be represented by any of the characters that shows up in the cards regardless of gender, your gender or the card's gender. You might feel like I'm reading for you. You could potentially feel like you're cross-watching for somebody that you're dealing with. Parts of the reading may resonate, other parts may not. So take the does and leave behind the rest. I hope you enjoy the reading, but I also hope you get something out of it. Okay, Scorpio? So we're going to go ahead and get started and see what's up for you guys for this last part of October. Nearing the end of 2020, right? See if we can get something good for Scorpio. Here we go. Ten of Cups. That's a good start. And Strength. That's a good start. Knight of Pentacles. The Fool. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The King of Swords in reverse. The Tower. And then we have the Chariot. Holy cow, Scorpio. You've got a whole bunch of major, major Arcana cards here in this first set of eight. We have Strength, the Fool, Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, and the Chariot. So five out of eight. We have a King of Swords in reverse on the table. There's change in the air for Scorpio, or whoever is represented by this King of Swords. This person may not be ready for it, or may not be feeling very positive about this. Feels like there's some significant change in the air. This could indicate travel. It could indicate moving forward with some major endeavor. Could indicate just about anything but there's positive movement forward and it's going to create or cause or already has um has affected change for whoever's dealing with this it could be affecting many people with the Ten of Cups out here. So this could be a family dynamic, group dynamic, maybe a workplace situation. Let's get some more cards out before we read any further into this for Scorpio. We have the Hanged Man now. There's another major arcana in reverse. And then the Six of Wands in reverse. Eight of Wands. Three of Swords. Seven of Wands in reverse. There's the Wheel of Fortune again in the upright this time with the same set of cards with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Ten of Cups again in the upright clarifying the tower. And the Sun, another major arcana card. Very positive card as well.
Okay, so there's something big occurring in this King of Swords life. It feels like it's something that other people might be excited about or other people that are surrounding this person might be happy about. But for some reason, he's not feeling the same. So whatever this change is, whatever this event is, it feels big. It feels positive. It feels like it's fast moving. It feels like it could potentially be something that has been anticipated. Something that there's been um, slow progression toward and now that it's here, it's like it's moving fast. So I used a roller coaster analogy in Libra, so why not <laughs> use it with Scorpio? It feels like, like there's been this slow progressive climb to the top. And now that you're at the top, you're ready for the best part of the roller coaster, which is that hill down, right? And once you get to that, you do the slow climb to the top once you get to that hill. Fast moving action, right? It's exciting. But then we have this Three of Swords sitting out here. And I feel like this is associated with this King's energy because this King is not feeling positive about the situation. It could be... Um, it could be a situation where, you know, what's good for some is not good for others. Like some are benefiting, benefiting from the situation. It's the opposite for this king of swords. It's not what he wanted or was hopeful for. I mean, I, he may have known that it was coming, but for whatever reason, he's not feeling as positive about the situation as other people surrounding him are which is a little puzzling. So we'll get some more cards out here and try to figure out what's going on with this king. But this is how he's feeling about this event. Bad luck, not what he was hoping for, not what he was wishing for, maybe feeling like, you know what, I knew it was coming, but, and there wasn't anything I could do about it, but that doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. It's the kind of energy I have for this king of swords. Maybe he even knew that other people would be excited about this event or were looking forward to it or moving toward it. And now that it's here, it's, it's, it's very satisfying and, and a thrilling event for most, but not all. Let's get some more cards out for Scorpio, Let's see what else we get. So we have the Ace of Wands. And then the Five of Wands. So this is some kind of new beginning, new start. Maybe there's a group of people launching some kind of business or something. Something that, that feels like it's, it's um, it's been anticipated. The sun again. Page of wands in reverse. Page of swords in reverse. The Empress, Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So I think that this king, he may not be talking or communicating or feeling real positive. Maybe he's avoiding interacting with other people because he's, he's maybe he's in a bad mood. I get the feeling like he's in a bad mood or he's trying to keep to himself. Maybe he doesn't want others to know how he's feeling or how he's reacting. But I think others do. I think they do know. Specifically this Empress energy, who's somebody different.
more than anything else, Scorpio, right now, the cards are indicating, again, there is some kind of effort, some kind of event, some kind of um, anticipated occurrence that is either getting ready to happen or is happening in the moment that's making other, that m making many people, including this Empress individual, very happy, very satisfied, very excited, glad things that are moving, glad people are glad things are moving forward. It's like, oh gosh, finally it's happening. It, there, there is a sense of being at the top of a roller coaster and getting ready to go down that hill. Very exciting, fast movement, lots of activity. And then there's this King of Swords. There's something about this that's this event that's causing him some heartbreak and some grief. And again, I get the feeling like he's avoiding communicating or talking about it, but his his mannerisms, his mood, his energy, it's kind of giving it away. I think other people are aware of how he's feeling. What his thoughts are, what his opinions about the situation are, because it's, you know, it's pretty hard to hide this kind of energy. I mean, this is this is what he's feeling like. This is this is this king's energy. It's almost like he's willing things not to move forward. I think he thinks. I think that there is this feeling of being disappointed or maybe, I don't know if there's confusion, disappointment, grief, sadness over the fact that this king doesn't feel like he can feel the same way that others do about this event. It's just, it's not the same for him. This is not, this is not what he's feeling about the situation. It's not the same for him. I'm trying to think of a good example where this would this would make sense to me. And the one thing that pops in my head, and this seems like kind of a, a mundane or maybe not a very appropriate example, but I'm going to use this example anyway. So this could be a situation where, for example, a father is you know rearing his daughter and. And she gets to the point where she's applying to colleges and getting ready to graduate from school and um, she gets accepted somewhere. Maybe it's overseas or maybe it's across the country. So it requires her to move away or, um, you know, branch off on her own, get, get things going for herself. And there's all kinds of people around her who are very excited for her and recognizing her accomplishments. And then there's this king of swords, the father, who's like, well, of course I'm proud of her, of course I'm happy for her, but at the same time I'm going to miss this person or I'm going to, it's going to break my heart to see her leave, that kind of thing. So that's the example. I'm not saying that that's the case. It certainly could be, but that's my example. That's, the, that's how I'm coming to terms with how this king is um, feeling about the situation because everything else is indicating it's really exciting and really uh, a positive thing for just about everybody else around him and again you can be a female and embody this king of swords energy so if you're resonating with this reading and you're a female just know that so we have the queen of pentacles now in reverse and the devil The Wheel of Fortune for the third time in reverse again. Queen of Swords. Five of Cups. Eight of Pentacles again, this time in the upright position. Excuse me. High Priestess. And Page of Swords, this time in the upright position. So Queen of Pentacles and Devil.
This is confusing to me. So I get the feeling that this Empress and this Queen of Pentacles is the same person. And she's being affected by this king and his perspective on the situation. She's being affected by it in kind of a negative way, in a, in a not kind of a, a negative way. She's being affected by it in a really significant way. She might be doubting herself. She might be um, adopting this king's attitude to a certain extent. Maybe not seeing this as a very positive situation or event in her life. There's this feeling that um, I'm going to try to keep this very general. Um, feels like I, I could be looking into a very specific uh, story, though. This king, this king's nature or his response to the situation or his perspective regarding this situation, which feels very positive. Um, I think this empress is central within this situation, meaning it's affecting her or it's something she's doing or it's something she's accomplished or it's something she's looking forward to. That this uh, this king of swords could very well be trying to talk this queen this empress out of this um, opportunity or, or trying to cause her to change her mind or move in a different direction. This might have to do with a job or a, a working a work situation, an opportunity of some sort that this empress has. It feels like it could be a job, maybe, again, you know, to use that simple example of someone going off to school. But this person also feels like it could be a more mature individual, so it doesn't have to be someone who's, you know, college age, that type of thing. The Empress is typically someone who's a little bit more mature. If anything, they, they have a, an old soul, someone who's wise, someone who's been around the block a few times, someone who's got it all together. Um, this t type of person doesn't necessarily, to me, but this could be, I mean, why not? Um, anybody can go to school. So if it's a college example, this is this is somebody who is moving towards something that's very exciting, seems very positive, but this king feels like they could potentially be talking them this empress out of it, or providing this total opposite perspective on how to look at things. And it's not positive the way this king sees it. There's a Queen of Swords here, and I think this is possibly an external party who could potentially be talking to this king about the effect that he's having on this Empress, and not just his perspective, but his mannerisms, his energy, how he's presenting himself, how he's talking, how he's communicating. I think that this, this Queen of Swords, this could potentially indicate somebody who is trying to talk some sense into this king, saying, look, I know, how, I know that you feel this way about this, but the way you're when you're talking to this person, you know, you're, you're changing their mind. You're making them feel bad about this. You're making them feel like they can't do it, that they can't move toward, you know, that kind of thing. Or it could also indicate this Empress energy, Queen of Pentacles, could be her energy as well, where she's clear on how this is affecting this King of Swords. She knew or knows how this King feels. There's no fuzzy area here. She's aware of how this king feels. I don't think that's a big secret. And even if he's not talking, even if he's not being overt about his communication, people can tell, like I said before, he, you can tell when somebody's in that kind of state of mind, right? Let's get this last round out for Scorpio. Two of Pentacles in reverse. 
Queen of Wands. King of Cups. The Chariot again. Two of Cups. Four of Swords. Ten of Swords, and the Hierophant in reverse. So we've got all these secondary players that just made an appearance, although I think this I think this Queen of Wands is somebody separate. So with the Ten of Cups that came out in the very beginning, the Ten of Cups has come out twice, and I did indicate this feels like it could involve a group of people. So I do feel like these are secondary characters in this reading. I'm definitely reading for this King of Swords and this Empress energy. They are the strongest in this reading, but then there's these the supporting character. So we've got the Queen of Wands. I think the Queen of Swords is probably somebody separate. These two could be the same person. And then we have this King of Cups. So this King of Cups, whatever this event or the situation is for this Empress, he is definitely involved. He's on board. <laughs> He's on board the chariot and he's coming along. It, it's this connection or this relationship that's part of the problem for this King of Swords. It's part of what he's dwelling on, part of what he's thinking about. I think he's thinking about the connection or connections that are associated with whatever this is with whatever this is for this empress this king is dwelling on the connections of the relationship so there could be some kind of situation going here i do feel like this is someone separate than this king of cups and i i want to remind you again i'm saying kings and queens and he's and she's but if the story resonates you're going to know who you are regardless of the gender of the card just just keep that in mind scorpio but this king is, is focused on the connections or thinking about the connections and that's what's causing him the most grief. So he might feel like he's losing this empress. He might feel like she's walking away or walking out of a situation that he's associated with and moving on to something new. She's probably gonna make new connections, new friends, maybe you know a new love interest, whatever the case may be. Um, but maybe he feels like he's losing her or missing out on this situation because he's not part of it or not involved in some way. There's definitely an ending here that's associated with this tower. The you know endings are not always bad, right? I, sometimes you need to make you need endings in order to have something positive come your way. This is sometimes necessary. It could very well be that there's an ending with this King of Swords. That has this empress moving on to something that's not just going to be positive for her, but be positive for others as well. So then there's this queen of wands up here, Scorpio. All these details. I'm trying to figure out, I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling this deck, but... I get the feeling like this Queen of Wands
She might also be partially responsible for affecting the the way this Empress is reacting to the situation, casting some doubt, making her feel unsure, making her feel a little insecure. So it could be it could be that you know this King of Swords is not the only one who's responsible for casting a little shadow on the situation. It feels overall like a very positive situation, event, circumstance, whatever the case may be. I mean, it's a tower moment, but towers don't have to be bad. It feels big. It feels like big change. It feels positive for the Sempers and others involved. But then there's there there's at least one or two. Um, but this it's interesting because this Queen of Wands is in the upright position. So if she's attached to you know, this devil energy, it could be just that she is causing some doubt or, or maybe she's not aware of the effect she's having. She could be siding with this king of swords, for example. It's a little hard for me to see what's exactly going on with this queen of wands. And in her coming out at the last round of cards too, she might just be a minor player, but she could be adding to um, the doubt that's creeping in for this Empress. I think if you're this Empress, Scorpio, I think that the, the thing that I'm seeing in this reading that's probably most important for you to know is that whatever this whatever this is for you that's, that you're moving toward or this tower that's causing some change in your life, it's a positive event. It might feel hard. It might feel challenging. It might feel scary. It might make other people unhappy. You're going to obviously hear from a wide variety of people, people who are in the know, people who don't know anything that's going on, but everybody's willing to give their opinion and advice, right? Most people are. Um, sometimes unsolicited, but everybody's got their, their perspective. So it could just be that there are some people who are casting some doubts, giving you the hypothetical question, well, what if this happens? Or do you think you have, you know, do you have enough resources or money to make this happen? Or are you sure that this is the right move? You know, there's always going to be those people like that in your life. And frankly, maybe those are the ones that you need to say goodbye to. Um, so this queen of, of wands, again, I don't think that there's ill intent here. It might be inadvertent that she, her reactions or her communication, or her actions are inadvertently casting some doubt or some shadows on this situation. Cause I don't necessarily feel like it's intentional coming from her, from this king of swords, kind of a different story. So I'm going to take this card for you, Scorpio, and we're going to wrap this up. I hope this reading is making sense to you. We have the King of Water in reverse that came out. All these court cards that are coming out. So the King of Water, which is the King of Cups, in reverse came out. He came out in the upright over here. Being that this is the last card, certainly could be associated with this King of Swords, not this King of Cups. It could be, again, give you some insight into how this person's feeling or where they're coming from. You know, he was one of the first cards that came out, so he's definitely a significant player in this reading, Scorpio. And it might just, this card may just give you some more insight into this person's perspective or why they're behaving the way they are and that kind of thing. So I'm going to read this for you. If he's in the reverse, it's a potential blockage, and it's probably a pretty short passage, about a half a page. So I'll show this to you, uh, Scorpio, as I read it, and then we're going to wrap this up. Here we go. When the king of water appears reversed, he can re represent a feeling of boredom. When he appears in your reading, ask yourself if you believe that your life is lacking its excitement. Has pace and calm slowly transformed into boring routine? Maybe it is time to shake things up a little and to ride the waves for a while. You might need a little excitement and to be unpredictable and spontaneous in your best interests. However, do not or do seek a productive outlet for your excitement rather than looking for conflict or creating drama for drama's sake. That might destroy your peace and calm completely instead of enlivening your life. The King of Water reversed also cautions against behaviors born of jealousy and a need to possess. If you have fears or concerns regarding a relationship, address them. Do not allow jealousy to fester. 
If there is a reason for concern and the situation cannot be resolved, then perhaps it is best to let go. Remember, the person in question is not a possession. Allow them to leave if leaving is what they feel they must do, even if they leave in order to be with another. On the other hand, be mindful not to allow your own insecurity and imagination to drive a wedge between yourself and the one that you love. So, wow. I mean, you know, I honestly, the first part of that card talking about how you could be bored. Um, that could be the type of life that this, this individual who's tied to this empress embraces. Kind of a run of the mill. This is what we do. We wake up in the morning. We have our coffee. We go to work. We come home. You know, take a shower. Put dinner on the table. Watch a little TV. Go home. Or go home. Go to bed. Wake up and do it again. It could be that this person is one of those types of people in this person's life who is kind of um, put the brakes on for this empress individual. And it feels like she's got an opportunity to bring this to an end, sever some ties, and try something different, try something new. And it could be also in the form of a new relationship, a new connection, new friends, new colleagues, new opportunities. Something's afoot that's gonna change the direction of this empress and also the dynamic of the relationship between this empress and this person. Um, again, I don't think at all that, that I, where did I put the King of Cups? There he is. Um, I don't think that this, this King of Cups is the same person that showed up in this last card. I think it definitely is um, associated with this King of Swords. So that's what I've got for you, Scorpio. I'm gonna let you go ahead and interpret the rest for yourself. It feels like a very interesting reading. Challenging too, but if you're this queen of pentacles, empress individual, don't let the, you know, the naysayers get you down. Keep moving toward what you know is right for you. And you know, embrace a little excitement in your life. Why not? It doesn't come around every, you know, every day. Embrace it while you can. And turn the other cheek when it comes to the naysayers. They're gonna be around, they're always gonna be there. They will always be there, these types of people. And you know, it's fine, they can be stuck in their ways. There's nothing wrong with, if you like your mundane, ordinary, boring life, that's great, embrace it, be happy. But don't expect others to follow suit just because it's what you do, you know? So if you're this king of, of swords, I get it. If you're losing, if you're losing an empress because she's going off to do exciting things in her life, you're losing this kind of energy. I get it. That would break my heart too. It would absolutely break my heart too. But you know, it doesn't mean that she's got to stay put because it's going to break your heart for her to move on and do other things, meet other people, and enjoy life with some excitement. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave that here, Scorpio. I hope that it resonated. Um, if, the, if the reading resonated, please like, share, subscribe. If you like leaving a comment, that's always great too. Thank you so much for joining me, Scorpio. And I will see you next time. Bye.